Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about analyzing or interpreting a statistical chart. When we say statistical chart, we're talking about any chart, including numbers to analyze anything related to our themes. So we might have a bar chart, stack bar chart, histogram, pie chart, donut chart, line graph, stack line graph, a pyramid chart or funnel chart. We might have a table. We might have. A, we might analyze a picture. Okay. In order to answer such a question, we have first to follow the following three steps, and each step will take a grade. So, if let's say it's out of uh, one, so we'll take quarter here, quarter here, and half for the second point. Um, first step, we have to introduce the topic. We have to start with a topic sentence. What do we include in this topic sentence? It's simply what the chart is about. Where do I get this uh, the, the topic sentence from? Usually it's mentioned in the given in the question. So the first sentence in the paragraph should include the topic sentence introducing the chart. The second point we have to infer, analyze, uh, read the numbers that I have, compare, contrast, show how the numbers that I have are increasing, decreasing, they are uh, less, more. So I have to mention the numbers that I have in the table or in the chart, and I have to compare them. The last, uh, try to mention as many uh, numbers as possible. So if you have like three uh, columns, mention all of them. If you have more or if you have a lot, mention at least three out of all of them. The third step will be to conclude. Where do I get the conclusion from? It's after reading the numbers that I have in the table or in the chart. So based on the reading, I can draw a conclusion. Any logical, uh, any logical um, conclusion can be accepted. So you don't, you can simply read the numbers that you have. Say that it's increasing, decreasing. Say that it's, uh, uh, it's affected by that it's affecting something. So any uh, logical understanding of the numbers that we have here is accepted. This is a sample question. This is from the official exams. So we have a chart here. It shows the percentages of adopted children from foster care by age group. Read the table carefully and then answer the following question. What you have to do guys, whatever the question is, we have to follow the following three steps. So whether they ask us to compare, uh, read, what do you conclude, what do you infer, the answers should be writing, the answer should be uh, writing a paragraph and this paragraph should include the following three steps. So what do the percentages indicate about the relationship between the age group of adoptees and adoption rate? Explain with evidence from the table. I follow the three steps. I'm going to start. So step number one, which is introduce, the chart shows the percentages of adopted children from foster care vary uh, by shows that the percentages of adopted uh, children from foster care vary by age group. So if we take a look at the following, we can simply copy the given. The chart below shows percentages of adopted children from foster care by age group. I can copy it. Let's go to the second step, which is analyzing numbers, reading the numbers that we have. Um, the percentages are 6%, 9%, 30%, and 19 for the age group 0 till 2, 3 till 4, 5 till 9, and 10 till 12, respectively. And we go to the third step, which is concluding. You can simply start after the period, start by therefore, thus, we can deduce, we can infer, and as I told you, it can be accepted as long as it's logical. We can deduce from the above percentages that the highest percentage of adopted children is when they are 5 to 9 years, and the lowest percentages is when they are 0 to 2. So if you mention one of them, if you mention only the highest percentages, that's enough. If you add a reason, that's accepted. So I'm going to wrap it up, introduction, analyzing the chart, and conclusion in one paragraph.
That's another example from another official exam. We have a table here. That's the given. We have to read the table carefully and then answer the question that follows. What can you conclude from the table? Explain your answer in four to five complete sentences using evidence. So, out of the following four to five complete sentences, we have a sentence for the introduction and a sentence for the conclusion. And you're graded based on the following, uh, based on the following sentences. And I can add two sentences for analyzing the table here. So, step number one. That's the answer key. The first step, the table provides percentages related to some species assessed as endangered by extinction. That's the introduction. You get half of the grade or quarter of the grade. Then we go to the second step, which is analyzing the number. The statistics or percentages show that 70% of the plants are threatened. And then I continue. I have to analyze the following numbers. I have to mention the percentages that I have. I have to mention whether I have more percentages here or there. And then I go to the last step, which is concluding. Thus, plants are the most endangered species assessed, while birds are the least threatened. So, step number one, introduce. Step number two, analyze. Step number three, conclude. And that's how the, how the grade is divided. Introductory sentence, explanation or analysis for the numbers, and then the concluding sentence. That's another example. The difference in this example here is that we don't have numbers. So I just have high, low, and that's it. The table below compares between the attributes of natural and artificial intelligences. Read the table carefully and then answer the question that follows in three to four sentences. What conclusion can you draw from the comparison above? So we're comparing the attributes and the differences between natural intelligence and artificial intelligence. We have the attributes, who uses more senses, who is more uh, innovative and imaginative, who is making complex calculations, who is transforming information, who is using a variety of information sources and that's the answer also i can get the introduction which is the first sentence simply from the given the table below compares between the attributes of natural and artificial intelligence here the table reveals the comparison between natural and artificial intelligence let's go to the second step in the second step guys since we don't have Numbers, we have to make a comparison between what we have here in the natural, natural intelligence and the artificial intelligence. We notice that for the natural intelligence or human intelligence, we have more using senses and being innovative. While for the artificial intelligence, we have more, uh, they, can, they are able or the machine is able uh, to make complex calculations and to transfer information while for the for using a variety of information sources they are the same I simply write the following thus they both that's the conclusion they both have a similarity of using uh, similarity in using information resources yet they differ in the other four attributes presented one paragraph divided into three parts introduction, analyzing or explanation, and conclusion. Okay, now it's your turn. Do the same. What do the percentages indicate about the relationship between age and child abuse? You have percentages here, you have age group, and you have the year. We have to explain with evidence from the table, and we have to follow the three steps. Introduce, explain or analyze the numbers, and end with the conclusion. That's another example from the official exams. Try to do it, pause the video, read the, uh, read the numbers that you have and try to make your own conclusion. And that's the answer key. Well, that's it for today. Thank you.